All right, guys, uh, take two on adventure today. We're going to go metal detecting. Uh, I want to get some silver coins here before the end of the season, and it's been raining a lot, so usually that means that we should be able to pick up signals we've missed. We're going to take the Equinox and go do some metal detecting. I tried this morning. I drove 60 kilometers south into some great farmland, beautiful maple hills. I was going to drone it for you guys. I got there. I pulled out the drone. I didn't bring the controller. So I drove 120 kilometer round trip and I didn't even get any droning in. So now as a substitute, I'm taking my poor, sad, sorry soul metal detecting. Come join me. Princess Leia headset on. Let's do this. Looking good, Mr. Reed. Okay, first hole. It was definitely a solid coin signal. It was down there 12 inches, and I think it's an old lipstick uh, case, the top of it. I do see writing on here, right here. I'm going to brush that off. I'm going to guess 1930s, but then we'll check and see if we can get a name off of here. We'll see if we can validate that. Look at that. T U E R O S. Turos. And then there's like a globe, a logo of a globe beside it. So that'll give us something to uh, look up online anyway. Oh, there's more writing underneath here Habana. H A B A N A. I believe are the letters on the bottom. Turos Habana. I'm not sure. Two signals. One here and one right here. Beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> Two coins maybe? You can tell we've had a lot of rain because it's full of earthworms in here. Okay, first coin here in the plug is a penny. We'll get a date off. Oh, wait. No, yeah, just one. But there should be another one in here. We'll get a date off this. Well, not an old one. 94. So the second item was actually much deeper and just off to the side. It looks like an old ashtray to me. It's got the kind of indents on the side where you'd put a cigarette. Uh, I remember my grandparents having ashtrays like that when I was a kid. I think that's what it was. Okay, here's one that might be older. Definitely got a really nice patina on it. And it was ringing up as a solid 20. Well, it's older, but not as old as I would have thought with the amount of crud that was on there. It was like cement. Canadian, 1951. Okay, so again, just a penny, but this one's cool. It's an older one. Rang up as a solid 20, so the large cents ring up as a solid 20, and anything from the 20s and 30s have a tendency to do that as well. It's just the copper that they used, so let's see if we can get a date off this. It's Canadian. Okay, so it's uh, George V, and we know that coins before 1920 were large cents, so what is it? 1933, look at that. Gotta love the old coins. Canada one cent. That one's in actually uh, good enough shape to end up in my Doug coin collection. Now I know 31s and 32s are worth about 10 bucks because they were a rare year. I don't think 33 was. Ah, solid 20. Like I just told you guys, I dug a nail. It's in here somewhere. And I was going to stop, and then I thought no, and I kept going, and look, large scent, look at that, underneath a nail. Oh, I think it's going to be in good shape too. Let's give it a brush off. Oh, unfortunately out here in the field, guys, I can't make heads or tails. We know it's, uh, well, we don't know. <laughs> it could be 1885 to 1920. Because I can't even tell if it's a King Edward or if it's a Vicky. I just can't make heads or tails out of this. So we'll take it home, we'll clean it up, and then I'll let you guys know. You know, I always say I come here and look for silver, but 
Really guys, I'm ecstatic to have any coin that's 100 plus years old, right? I'll take any of them. The history, just, that's what I'm here for is history. All right, one old coin deserves another. There is a wheat scent. I don't know how old it is. Eh, 1956, so not as old as I would have hoped for, but it's in great shape. All right, I had to show you this signal. That is a silver signal. What's better than old pennies? Old silver. I think we got a fish scale here. Yes, I'm excited. Those are my favorite coins. What do we got? Oh, it's a dime, I think. Let's uh, gently clean this up. Yeah, that's a dime. Oh yeah, that's gonna be 1940 something. Probably. Georgie. 1940, right on the nose. Wow, we're gonna have to take that one home and clean it up. It's uh, pretty tarnished. Uh, really deep and really big. I don't know, maybe part of an old goal post or something. Well, after I found that last wheat penny, I said to the universe, I would sure like to find a 1943. And the next coin is a 1943. Too bad it's Canadian and therefore worthless. <laughs> From a million bucks down to one cent. <laughs> you can't tell me the universe doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> Uh, 1942, another old Canadian. Ah, just my luck, the city's here to remove all the bleachers. Guess who's gonna be the first guy to swing a detector under there? A nice gaping hole where the bleachers used to be. Let's give this a go and see what's under here, if anything. Thank you, city. What's better than an old silver coin? Two silver coins, next hole. There was nothing under the bleachers, by the way. I'm back out in the middle of the field. I think it's a quarter. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's an old quarter too. Yeah, pretty worn out, but let's see if we can get a date off this. It's uh, an Edward. Ever so faintly, 1919. Look at that. You can just barely see the date there at the bottom. The first 19 is worn out. There's a one, then a pretty much a blank spot, and then a 19 again. Love it. Man, we're doing even better than I thought this morning when I was like, you know what? My soul needs a little bit of metal detecting, but I never actually expected to get, uh, you know, early silver today. And uh, man, we're just having a, I'm not even done. We're having a fantastic day. Next hole, I think we've got another silver coin here, guys. We're literally a foot and a half from where we just dug. And it's a pretty good silver signal. And it's always a good sign when you flip that plug over and you got seven inches here and you can't even get a signal. So we know it's down there, nine, 10 inches and it's probably gonna be silver. Eh, or just an extremely deep penny down there about nine inches. Uh, I think it's an older one. Let's take a look. 1947, Canadian. Well, there it is, another old one. 40s, Canadian, I think. Yeah. Let's clean it up. 1945. They're so hard to clean out here in the field when they have that much crap cement it's almost like a cement that forms on them all right guys there is the hall after three and a half hours uh, we've got a couple old uh, pennies a canadian and a wheat scent that we can add to our doug penny collection two silvers a nice old quarter and a dime a large scent and then a couple 1940s which i may or may not keep and the rest were 50s 60s 70s modern junk that'll all go in the hoard so even after a good peroxide bath, the large scent, I can't get a date off of it, so it's not in that great a shape. I'll still put it in the collection of Doug coins. And the dime, the silver dime, it is cruddy as hell, but I actually like the character that it has. There's some real black spots on there. I don't know what that is. Um, and usually silver cleans up real nice, but it doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to leave that 
because it's going in the metal detecting collection, you know what? It's got character. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next adventure.